Hi, welcome to the channel. I'm Buddy the Dog. How are you guys doing? Today, we're gonna to talk about the difference between Reason, Pro Tools, that's right, and last but not least, Logic, for those who are logical. All right, just kidding folks, but that's actually what we're here for. Let me set Mr. Butters here down. So all right, I got Mr. Buddy the Dog out of here. First of all, thanks for seeing you guys. Love to see you guys back here again. Sorry for the delay in videos. I'm right in the middle of moving, got a bunch of other stuff going on. We've been kind of hard pressed to get all our stuff up here. But today I want to talk to you guys about something that I think a lot of people wonder about before they go out and they buy their DAW. They're like, oh my God. And like they go to Sam Ash and they're like, what do I buy? Should I get Reason? Should I get Logic? Should I get Pro Tools? So let's just start off right at the bat, which a question everybody's going to ask is pricing. So let's talk about pricing. Logic is the very cheapest one of all. It's $199. Next up is Reason at about $399. And then you got Pro Tools at $600. So for pricing, obviously Pro Tools is the most expensive one out of the bunch. And Logic is obviously the lowest with Reason in the middle. Now, what's really the difference between these different DAWs? Like people are like, oh, well, what's the difference between them? Well, there are some differences. So let's talk about them. Pro Tools is well known around the world. Almost every studio you're gonna go around the world, somebody's gonna have Pro Tools. Now Logic is slowly creeping up and many studios now have Logic as well. You know, they're almost getting equal. And Reason hasn't quite made it totally into all the recording studios yet, but almost every guy who's out there in the world making digital music, dance music, electronic music, Reason's the shit. I mean, it is the absolute best thing out there for doing this type of music. Now, I know some people down the concert are going to say, hey man, I know there's like other type of recording software stuff. Yeah, there's probably a shit ton out there. I know there is. But these three I use, they're familiar to a lot of people. And truthfully, I don't think you're going to walk into some major recording studio and the guy's going to tell you, oh hi, yeah, I'm using Steinberger. It's just not going to happen. Like, I know guys out there who use Steinberger stuff. All kinds of my rapping homies, they use that shit all fucking day long. They rip off programs, use their PC, and they're on. Now, let's talk about another thing real quick. Which kind of computer can you use it on? Well, obviously, Logic will only work on an Apple-based computer. <laughs> Apple, honestly, you guys should be fucking cool and come up with one that comes on a PC, too. That would be amazing because there are guys out there who are like, I'm not going to use an Apple. They hate Apple, regardless. <laughs> that's just the way it is. And I can't change that fact. It's apples and oranges, and people hate that shit. And that's just obviously it's not going to change. But if you're using Logic or you're using Reason, they can be used on either a Mac or a PS. Sorry, on a Mac, I was going to say PS3. Either on a Mac or on a PS3, just on a gaming console, they can be used. But no, on a Mac and both on a PC, you can use those two softwares. So for the flexibility, obviously, Pro Tools is, you know, going to be very top-notch expensive. And Pro Tools is really the king when it comes to live recording music, which is why it's on so many albums around the world. For doing live recording, if you're doing live recording, you don't really give a shit about doing digital drums, you don't give a crap about MIDI, that kind of shit, that's not important to you, then Pro Tools is what you're looking to get into your studio for a fact. You know, they have all kinds of different versions out there. You can buy interfaces that actually come with Pro Tools. So if you're a person who wants that type of situation, you want to get your hands on Pro Tools. Now, like I said earlier, if you're somebody who does strictly digital music, dance, hip hop, and all that kind of stuff, Reason is unbelievable. All the plugins, drag and drop, everything about Reason is just simply incredible. So if you're a person out there and you're looking to make those kind of stuff, music, beats and stuff like that, you really want to probably take a look at Reason. Now, it's really weird. Logic is like right down the middle. It really is. It's pretty much like the right down the middle program. It works great if you want to like make movie soundtracks. It's awesome for making movie soundtracks. You want to make beats, raps, any type of stuff like that. And if you want to record live music and use digital drums and all that kind of stuff, uh, Logic is very well rounded. I use Logic the absolute most. Pro Tools is cool. I'll admit it's, it's cool, but overall, I've just gotten used to using Logic. It's what you like any of my songs that you guys have heard over the years, they've all been done in Logic. Now, Friend of mine, Clinton Clark, another friend of mine, Dave, we did some Pro Tools recordings. I'm gonna have those pretty soon and hear you guys will listen to them and you guys can just hear the difference. Like, I don't know. I really like the cleanness about Logic. It's just a very, very clean way to do things. 
Now, Jesus the cameraman, he's actually got a degree in running Pro Tools. So he's probably really good at doing Pro Tools, much better than I would ever be, but we've dumped logic on his computer, so I think he's gotten pretty good at it now. He's always in there making his little electronica beats. So you can make electronica beats too on logic, but at the end of the day, if you guys are going out, you guys are first gonna have to look at what kind of computer do you have or what kind of computer do you plan on getting to do all your music on. Now, I know that my PC fans are gonna say, oh, Elric, man, fuck you, but I'm gonna tell you right now, man, Apple computers, to me, work better for doing music. They just do. Much easier for me. I don't lose any information. I've had PC stuff. Don't think I haven't. I've had that PC shit for years, and it always gave me problems. And all of my friends who I've built the PC stuff for always come back and tell me, hey, Ellie, man, um, can I get a Mac or at least a Hackintosh? So that's something you should now. <laughs> Real quick, let's talk about that. A Hackintosh is actually amazing. So there's a lot of people out there that build these things. There's this guy called Tony Macintosh something. You guys look at Tony Triple X Macintosh. I, my brain spaces it, you know, but this guy knows everything about Hackintoshes. And a Hackintosh computer for your music, to me, is really good. Now here's why. When you build a Hackintosh, you're kind of like locked in to like what you do. There's some things you can upgrade and stuff, but mainly whatever system you've got on there, the OS, it's all locked around that. So if you build your recording studio around that and you're really happy with it and you know your shit with that, <laughs> man, you are good to go because here's the thing, you can very easily make a dual hard drive or have two hard drives in there and just boot it up and have a PC and have your Mac all in one computer. And that's honestly what I would advise to a lot of people if you're really just now looking to get in to doing your music, especially if you're a PC guy. Now, if you're a Mac guy, you're one of those hipster Mac guys and you just fucking don't like PC stuff at all, well, obviously you're going to get yourself a Mac. But a lot of PC fans, they're gonna be using PCs and I would suggest building yourself a Hackintosh. So at the end of the day, you guys see it. At the top of the price list is Pro Tools. Down below that is Reason, at the bottom is Logic, but you know, the caveat to that is if you're a PC fan, well, yeah, gotta have a Mac, Jack, and that's just it. So I know it probably isn't like, you know, like a, a grainy, super chiseled out thing, but I gave you guys pretty much the basic outlines of how to choose these things. If you go into Sam Ash and you talk to those people, they're gonna kind of tell you the same thing. Pro Tools, great for live stuff, not good for MIDI not good for that kind of stuff whatsoever. So if you want to use any kind of digital drums, sequencing, that kind of stuff, it can be done, but it's not as user friendly. In the middle of the road, Logic, good with both, not as good in the strong points as live as Pro Tools, but it can still be done. And then on the other side, we have Reason, which is totally great for dub, all that electronic music, any of that kind of stuff. It's fucking simply incredible. Um, you could actually buy that, get lost in a room and never come out. Seriously, like doing those beats and doing it gets very, very addictive. Back here behind me, I bought my machine. That's another thing. Machine 2.0 is a totally different beast in itself. It's a totally different way of writing music. It would be a much more intense video and stuff like that. But as far as software dogs goes, hey, I hope you guys, you know, appreciate this. You know, you don't have to if you don't want. It's no big deal. But hey, I know there's some people out there that are looking to go out and buy a new DAW. And they're going to be like, well, what should I get? Should I get Reason? Should I get Logic? or should I get Pro Tools? Because those really are the big three in the music industry. So I'm Elric. Hey, thanks for watching our music channel. We'll see you guys back here next time. Next week, we'll have more pedal reviews, more guitar stuff, all that good shit you guys are used to seeing, including, ha, you guys will ask for it, microphones. So we'll have the top five vocal microphones for you guys next week. Um, in your comments down below, I know you guys have talked about this, but give me a narrow down thing if you would. Do you guys want the top five microphones under $100? Top five microphones under fucking $5,000? Top five under $500? What is it you guys want? So please leave a comment down below so I can know what you guys want. That way I can bring it to the table.